Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to decorate and kind of marbleize these um, clear ornaments using acrylic paint. So the things that you will need are these clear ornaments, some cups, acrylic paint. I have toothpicks here to mix my paint. I have glitter here. The glitter is totally optional. I have a lot of it on hand, so I'm gonna use that. And I also have these cute little hats that I'm gonna see if I can incorporate that into the design. So you will also need something for the, um, the sphere to drain because we're gonna put the acrylic paint inside. So I have tons of tapes, so I'm just gonna use these tapes to hold them up so anything that you have to hold them up that will work i also have a piece of plastic on the bottom so when it drips it doesn't get all over the table so whoops so let's begin so you're gonna want to start by removing the tops of the ornaments off so these i have these two I'm gonna do a total of four. So just make sure you don't you don't lose those because you will need that. Like that. So once those are ready then it's time to mix your paint. So, I think I'm gonna use three colors for each. So, just start mixing your colors and if you actually have the acrylic paint that you want, you can actually just pour it right into the ornament. So I'm gonna mix my colors now. So I have a couple of them mixed. I did add a little bit of water to some of them because you want them to be a little runny once you start pouring them in here. So let's start with our first one. So I have a mixture of a couple of colors and I think I wanna use these here. So what I did also, which is totally an experiment, I added Mod Podge and I added glitter. So this should dry clear. So you can see the glitter. I tried adding it to some of the darker ones and the paint completely covers the glitter. So I would not recommend doing that, but maybe you can um, pour some in here before. Well, let's try it out. So I'm gonna pour some of the glitter in the sphere first and see how that turns out. So then I'll pour a little bit in there. So here you go. And then, so you, if you kind of move it around, it, it sticks to the sides. So I'm gonna add some of the green into it. So these cups are really useful because you can squish them and they'll, they're perfect. So you just wanna add your acrylic paint and then move it around. And you want it to be runny. That's 
So there we go. And then it's just gonna do its own thing. So I'm gonna do some yellow. If you don't want to get your hands wet, I would probably recommend wearing some gloves. Some other pink. And you're just gonna to want to move it around. Okay, so you can kind of see Some of it, some of the spots are still white, so you just keep on adding. I think I want to add more yellow, but on this side. It's kind of like a marbling effect. So. I would not recommend using the glitter because it just ends up covering it. You can see a little bit of it, but not so much. So right here, I'm just moving it around to get all the colors mixed. So I'm gonna throw in some blue. You can also try shaking it, so make sure you cover and then just shake it around. Until it's all covered. And there you go. You can use as many colors as you want. I would probably do at least four. So I'm gonna try to do the rest. So once it's like that, you wanna make sure you turn it over. So any of the extra acrylic paint that's still stuck in there uh, just has a chance to drip down. If not, I mean, I'm sure there's no problem having it in there, it'll dry. I'm gonna flip it here. Okay, so I'm gonna do all these. So to these four here, I added, because I really want to use the glitter and I don't want to give up on it. So I use the Mod Podge because it dries clear. So then I added the glitter and then now I'm going to mix it. And I think this will work just because the Mod Podge dries clear and you'll be able to see the glitter. They just mix them all.
so mine are all done and dry and I'm actually pretty pleased on how they came out. Look at this one, super cool. What I like about this is that you can just get the clear ones and you can design your own, you can pick your own colors, design your own theme. Mine is just gonna be all of them, different colors. So once you are done and they're dry, um, then you can put the, the tops back on. So I added the little hat to this one. So I think I want to do like a little mustache on these. So first, um, just take your Sharpie and then do the outline. And you can basically do whatever you want. Like this is kind of like the, if you like them just like that, you can leave them like that or you can do a design over them as well. So that's why I like, I like these cause you can design your own. So and then the rest I'm going to fill it in with black. So I just got done with the mustache and I'm going to continue to finish the decorations on these other ones. I really hope you guys found this DIY useful and you get inspired to create your own. And I really hope you guys have an amazing time with the family and in the holidays and until next time.